Hello, so I just want to talk to you about this book, Oh No, The Answer Here. Um, so I really liked this book a lot um, and I actually discovered it in a really cool way. So last week I had a great opportunity to go up to the head of my library system um, and do a Mock Caldecott and Newbery Awards. Um, and this was actually one of the titles that won the honor Caldecott. Um, so it really piqued my interest just from them flipping through the pages and I enjoyed reading this so much for my reading log. Um, I had to grab it. I took it out from my library. Luckily my local library had it in the collection. Um, I'm so Sorry if you hear any barking in the background, it's my puppy and I can't get any video without him in the background, so sorry about that. But I just want to flip through, um, I'll tell you a little bit about the plot, um, and just so you can experience this book a little bit. So I actually um, recorded myself reading this aloud and um, I don't want you, <laughs> anyone to feel obligated to watch me do a full story time of this book, but just going to flip through. Basically, our protagonist in this story um, is not so eagerly anticipating the arrival of her aunts. Um, they bring a little bit of chaos to their lives. Um, they think that our protagonist has a beloved obsession with horses, um, which really is not the case and it's something that she grew out of. So they actually, if you flip through a couple more pages, this little um, page sequence. Um, they filled her car with horses because they were under the impression that she just loved horses so much. Um, and it's actually a really good indicator of the passage of time between like distant relatives um, and how our loves for certain things change so quickly and that the thought is still there that they really wanted to make her happy. Filled the car with horses so that was something pretty sweet. Um, definitely does a good job of establishing her kind of anger with the situation. She feels very misunderstood, overwhelmed by her aunt's presence. Um, and they end up going to the quilt museum that the protagonist lives very close to. Um, make a lot of comments. Oh, this quilt is very old. Look, look at this old quilt. Um, there's actually a quilt that has horses that of course they are drawn to because they think someone in their family has a love for horses and that's not the case. But the illustration is really great. This is a beautiful sequence with the two ants um, on either side near the sunset. Um, the ants end up taking over her bedroom, which our protagonist is not so happy about. Um, they smell like coconut, they make her room smell like lotion. Um, it all really just develops the strength of their presence in the story. You can imagine them, you can smell them, whatever. Um, our protagonist dreams about horses even though she doesn't like it. Um, we see what the house looks like. They're making themselves very comfortable in our protagonist's home. They bring their own cereal. They don't lock the bathroom door. It can be a little silly. Um, then I don't quite understand this part. A wolf comes in and then soon after, um, the ants protect her from the wolf. They hug her and then the ants turn into birds. I don't really know what happened um, in the storyline for that to happen. It's not really explained, so I guess it's up to interpretation. But I could see myself struggling a little bit with explaining that sequence of events in story time, but it's a part of the story. So now she finally experiences peace at last until she hears some noises and oh no, the uncles are coming. So this is a really great book. It's silly. I really liked it. I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, like I said, there were some parts of the plot that could lose you a little bit, like the ants flapping away and turning into birds, just a wolf making an appearance out of nowhere. But it does contribute to the kind of dreamlike narration that comes from our protagonist. So this is Oh No, The Answer Here. I hope you got to experience it a little by me flipping through the pages. So 